Welcome back to Geo Insight. Uh, today uh, we are going to continue uh, the interpolation of uh, the gravity and uh, magnetic uh, data that we collected earlier on, and it, which was posted in the uh, last two videos. Uh, just a reminder that um, this channel is um, made to simplify geoscience concepts for everyone. We hope to explore uh, the wonders of the art from plate tectonics to rock formations using easy to understand videos. Our channel is uh, perfect for students, educators and people that are interested in geology. Subscribe for clear, concise and engaging uh, geoscience explanations. So today we are going to use uh, SOFA to interpolate uh, those data that we collected earlier on. Just a reminder that uh, we have the data collected as uh, XY data, which are district in the, in the current form. So we need to interpolate them and uh, extend them across um, areas where you don't have uh, this data on the map. We are going to do that for the topography and we are also going to do that for the, for the gravity uh, data. So we need to use a sofa. Sofa is um, made by Golden Software. It's one of their products. Uh, you go to if you go on Google and you type in sofa uh, software, it's going to take you to this website, and then you can download uh, a free trial uh, version for which you can use for fourteen days. And I'm not sure. It, they provide the academic classes yet, but uh, it won't uh, hurt if you get in touch with them and ask them for possibility of getting an academic classes. So far, it's a very good software. It's a comprehensive geospatial mapping software that is used for making so many things like uh, contouring maps, making 3D surfaces. You can make vector maps and a variety of other geoscience uh, related uh, visualization. Uh, I particularly like it for grid based mapping and 3D visualization, which I'm going to show as uh, we ride on. So, once you get to, um, op if you open your sofa software, you see there are a lot of um, different tools that you can use. I already mentioned about gridding, uh, which means you you are converting your three uh, x y z data into a grid you can make vector maps you can contour map you can post uh, locations and post um, geo special information or data and you can also make color relief map apart from that you can also use it as a um, desktop graphic designer tool which you can use to make geological maps and also make a variety of uh, uh, figures so today we are going to use um we're going to use the, the tools that are here so you click on select you click on grid data and we are going to look for our data the one on the topography we can save it in demo so remember we are going to do topography so you click on topography and you say open so the, if you look at the first row you see there is no data there so you should click uh, start import at 2 so and then the data is already delimited in case it's not delimited you have to uncheck um, you have to check uh, this uh, point uh, whether you are using comma or you're using semicolon or space other than that, this is the only thing I think you need to bother yourself with here. And of course, language, if you are in a different part of the world that they are not speaking English. Then you click OK. And then you need to specify the column for your uh, for the data. We are sure that uh, the X position is uh, in column A. We are sure the middle one is for Y and we are sure that the I is in C. Uh, you can view the data again and you see it's the same data that you have and you can filter the data and you can also do some statistics analysis on your data 
like uh, the average data in any case you're going to get the report for this if you choose report uh, the grid so it's going to give a, st a statistical uh, uh, description of your data uh, the most important part here is to choose the grading method which is the way you interpolate the map uh, there are several methods that you can use but the best method that I recommend is Kriging Kriging is uh, considered one of the best methods for spatial interpolation for several reasons. One of them is what they call blue, which is best linear unbiased estimator. It does this by minimizing the variance of the estimation errors and make sure that the estimations are estimations are unbiased, making your prediction as accurate as possible. Um, once you choose Kriging, you can choose other ones like uh, inverse distance to um, the power you can use minimum curvature but i'll use create and then the rest is just description of your data in terms of the minimum maximum and the spacing within there overall it shows that you have 22,264 data points and you just say okay and that is going to run so once it's completed it's it's going to tell you that the grid has been created in this folder where you have the demo and you say okay one other thing is uh, if you want to save the report but i don't need to save the report and that is it say changes to grid data report you're gonna no okay to continue with that now that we know that it has been graded you can check the folder where you have it and this is the grid for the topography we can quickly run the same for the um, gravity again grid data now this time around we choose gravity because we already did for topography we say open everything is fine delimited except that the data starts at row 2 so we click row 2 i will say okay again description of data we also have 22,000 plus and then we know that x a the position of x y z are correct in column a and b c and then we choose Kriegen again so this is going to be output in the same folder as the previous one and we say okay we can also view the data and say okay because this is the first one start with 7.8 uh, milligram if you remember that from the last video and we say okay so the same grid has been created and also the report i don't need the report so i'll say i'll close the report no so the first map that we can make here is a contour map which is um which is here and you say contour we we'll first want to make the contour of the topography you can do that and we'll say open and voila, that is it so remember we start from 11.5 and then 8.5 and this is normal contour so you have all those area where you have closely spaced contour where you have the granitoid being intruded uh, the same this is for the topography and you can play around all these um, these tools uh, you can hide some of the axes so if you are going to hide the left one or oh, sorry the, the right one you can do that but there is no need for that but you can play around it anyway and then you can also play around the coordinate system here you come set coordinate system and projections and all of those uh, another thing you can play around is um, the, the labels you can change them for the contours you can fill in with colors if you choose to maybe terrain is the most popular one for your special um, work and you can play around the font types okay so that is um that is uh the contour map alternatively you can just go for a color relief map straight away like the one we got from gecko you choose the grid for topography you do the same and that's it uh here you can turn on the show color scale which will give you the range of uh, uh topography from the highest to the lowest that is being shown on the map okay i'm going to delete off this contour map 
and I'm going to overlay this map with the contour map instead. So what I need to do is click on the map, ensure that it is active, and go to layer, and then overlay it with what with contour, and I click contour. But this time around, I'm going to overlay with contour of topography first. I say open, and then you see. You remember that we filled in the top the topography so we need to uncheck the filling so we have and, and that is it so you see you have um, the topography here okay uh, I want to contour the uh, gravity data now so I'll just go to contour again I'll uncheck this contour and I'll click, click on gravity data and say open and then you see that uh, the gravity data is uh, different from this uh, topography you see the spread of uh, the anomalies all around there you have positive anomaly here so okay that is good um, I can go back to this map I can delete all the contour of uh, the topography delete and also delete this off to avoid confusion and now on the topography I'm going to overlay the uh, gravity anomaly so I'll contour now instead of contouring um, topography I'm going to contour gravity I say gravity is the same map sorry uh, you need to make this to be active so I say active and say add layer and say add contour but this time around contour of gravity yes and that has been done so um what we, we should, the last thing that we're going to do here is to make transect lines so we can make a transect line across this area uh, first uh, if we undo the last um, thing that we did on and then also um, come here and click on map and then you right click you can do it in different ways you can go to file but I prefer to just make life easier for myself so you have to map and you click on um, profile and then you just click those points across which you want the profile line to be drawn and that is it so your profile from that area topography is shown there from west to east and you can draw as many as you want in addition to this you can also add the graphical just to mark the location of your coordinates and you can play around with the, all the values once it is activated here the labels and so on and so forth you can also add a scale to map. Uh, add scale that, and this is it. Uh, you have to come here to the scale bar, and then you can reduce the number of subdivisions for the sorry number of circles. So I'm going to. convert this to kilometers remember this is in decimal then you can change what the values what they represent here so spacing is uh, 0 0.5 if it's three kilometers then uh, sorry that is not the wrong thing mm, there is a way you can put the title here kilometers there's a title above the bar it again you can make a profile line if you want uh, it to make for the gravity as well you can take off um, uh, the gra graphical you can pick off um, the profile line uh, yeah. you can take 
itself. And now, if you overlay the gravity, and say contour the gravity on the on top of it, gravity. So open. Then, if you want to make a cross section line now, you say hard to map profile. It can give you combined one with gravity, the gravity at the base, and uh, the topography at the top. The last thing we can do is to visualize this map in 3D. So 3D surface, topography of the area, and then this is it. <coughs> you can fill the base with, um, fill it up, and then you can do some annotations of um, younger granites. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring up a new video where I'm going to show you how you can make a physiographic description of your study area using Google Ads and how to make transect and the likes on Google Ads. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload new video. And remember to like to press the like button. Thank you for watching. See you soon.